Hey everybody, this is Ion Stuff, and I just finished the project, and I'm anxious to show it to you guys. I'm in the process of building an off-grid solar system to supplement the power in my home office. Before I complete the solar system, I needed a few things available um, beforehand, and one of them is a transfer switch. So this is what I designed and built. So what is a transfer switch? Here, here's an example. When a power source uh, such as your main grid power in your house is no longer available due to an outage of some type, a transfer switch will allow you to switch to an alternate source of power such as a gas generator or a power inverter, um, probably from your solar system. My alternate source of power would be a solar system feeding into a uh, power inverter. Well, if you look at the size of uh, the transfer switch, it's actually a fairly good size, but um, this housing was actually perfect. After doing the wiring uh, in this thing, there was not much room to spare. If you notice the neon bulbs and the two circuit breakers here, as well as the two power inputs from the power cords, I had to drill these holes in the lower portion of the housing. The reason was all the wiring to the toggle switches and the outlets used up lots of room. So I needed to uh, put all the components low in the housing so all the wiring from the top can fit. Okay, so um, here is my final requirements that I had for this unit. So I'll give you a little tour of it. Uh, first of all, I wanted at least four outlets to drive four devices at the most. And I wanted the both of the power line inputs to handle at least 15 amps of power. Also, I wanted neon bulbs to indicate that the power lines are live or hot or not uh, to keep me safe. And each of the four outlets I wanted to control independently of each other with these toggle switches. And these toggle switches, uh, they are three position, double pole, double throw, heavy duty switches and they have three states. The middle position is off, the up position is on, and the down position is on. So the up position would be power source one, and the down position would be power source two, or the other way around, doesn't matter. And so I really wanted this unit to be safe and so this is what I did. I made sure that all the electrical components are at least UL listed. And I used 12 gauge wiring for all the internal connections. And I made sure that the power cords are all rated for 15 amps. The white cord is from a 15 amp power strip and the orange cord is something I made. The uh, circuit breakers are resettable and they're 15 amps a piece. And so each line input is protected by a 15 amp circuit breaker. Also on top here, you have two 15 amp ganged receptacles which equals four outlets. Here are some examples of the parts I purchased for the transfer switch. This is the Madison four gang heavy duty device box. And I chose this one because it's, it was heavy duty plastic uh, compared to the um, other device boxes. Um, I believe the other ones were a blue color and the plastic was really flimsy and it can break pretty easily and shatter. 
Uh, this one is really heavy duty, uh, but you can still uh, work with the plastic and drill holes through it uh, quite easy. And uh, I purchased this on Amazon. You can also purchase it uh, online, I believe, at uh, Home Depot. Uh, this is the 15 amp um, circuit breaker, resettable. And it's also UL approved. And this is what I used. This is a ganged receptacle uh, rated at 15 amps. It is UL listed as indicated right here. Uh, 15 amps, 125 volts. And my requirement was to operate these uh, outlets independently. And so you have to isolate the connection, separate the connection between the neutral line and the hot line. So you have to remove this tab here on both sides of the receptacle. This tab connects both of the neutral lines together and the other side has the same tab to connect the hot lines together. So you can remove them by using a needle nose pliers and you can just bend them up and down and it will come off. Um, the ground connections here are always connected and that is the green screw here. This is an example of a heavy duty toggle switch that I used. It's not the exact one I used but it is essentially the same. As you can tell it's UL approved and it has six screw, screw connectors at the bottom in which I'll show you at the next slide. Okay at the bottom of the toggle switch you'll see a array of terminals here and the power sources can be connected to the two end terminals and the device you want to power are the two in the middle but depending on the switch you use you need to verify your connection orientation. This is the power cover for the uh, ganged outlets that I used and this is the wire nuts that I used. They are UL listed as well. I used 12 gauge heavy duty wiring for all the internal connections and I purchased a bulk amount of this cable here. This is really heavy duty water resistant 300 volt 12 gauge wire and you can purchase this um, in any length you want at any hardware store. This is the uh, 15 amp 125 volt AC plug that I used for one of the input lines. All the wiring is insulated and connected with wire nuts, no soldering at all. All the connections to the switches are made with ring connectors and screwed down and also heavy duty Loctite was applied to all the screws. Heat shrink tubing was also used to insulate all the live terminals on the switches. Now this transfer switch is designed for indoor use only and is in no way water resistant at all. Um, although I did um, cover up some of the holes on the bottom with silicone just in case it comes near uh, some water. Now during my uh, quality assurance testing of this unit I did uh, test the 15 amp circuit breakers on this on both lines and the uh, circuit breakers tripped as expected and they reset fine as well. So it looks like this unit is working okay, fine. Okay, I set up a little simulation here for the transfer switch and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug in the two power inputs and you'll see the two light indicators on the left of the unit turn on and that'll show you that both line inputs are live.
So, as you can see that uh, both lines are live from the two light indicators. And now I'm gonna show you um, the toggle switches and what they can do. Now here is one device. And I'm gonna switch it on using this toggle switch here. I'm gonna use the, the bottom line input, the light on the bottom. That's the uh, line I'm using. So when I switch it uh, to the bottom, the kilowatt unit turns on and it indicates uh, 120 volts around there. And I'm going to turn on the outlet tester, which should turn on if I switch to the bottom. And that shows the line is correct, correctly wired. So now I'm gonna simulate the power going out for this line here. This line here is gonna go out due to an outage. So as you can see, the light went off. So uh, that would be an example of a power outage. And so what do I do now? Uh, I have an alternate source, a solar power source possibly, or a generator. As you can see, the other light is on still. That would be my alternate power. So as you can see here, the kilowatt is off. And I'm going to use the toggle switch to switch it to the alternate power source. As you can see, the kilowatt is on again using my alternate power source. And let's go to the outlet tester. I'm going to switch it to the other side. And now I'm using the alternate power for that device, assuming that's another device. So that's a simulation of how the transfer switch is used.